right, first things first. Time to run. Have you ever failed? Are you listening? Damn. Uh. All right, about an hour and a half in the gym. Time to run back. Yeah. Takes a long way. Feeling good. Uh. Getting ready. Getting ready. Staying motivated today. Yeah. Did an awesome pace. Uh. Got home. Stormed that last hill. Yeah. It's really nice and windy, so it feels great. It feels great. Uh. Let's get the day started. All right, so it was a nice run. It was a great pace. Love the pace. The pace was great. So anyhow, I gotta give you some uh, stuff. I gotta go run to uh, PetSmart, I think, because my cat doesn't like the food I got. So he tends to like the super expensive stuff. But I don't know what it is about a cat that licks their own butt. <laughs> or any animal that licks their own butt. Why do they have to have specific food and that they're so picky, but they lick their butt? Does that make sense? Whatever. Riding the bike downtown for a little bit, maybe hit the trail. Uh, worked out the legs really hard today. But you know, gotta end that up with something else. So I'm on the bike, getting my cross training in. Whew, you can really feel it in the legs today. Took a moment to take a break. It's really noisy out today, wow. Wow, it's really noisy. But I just really wanted to work my legs today because today was pretty much all legs. So I hit it really hard. But today's video is about uh, motivation. It's Motivational Monday. Motivational Monday, what gets you off the couch to get you inspired to do better, to, to, to take those goals and make them a reality? Inspirational, right? <laughs> We're here to inspire. Let's inspire. Motivation is sparked. It can be inspired by others. Inspiration is a big thing behind motivation. Motivation is like the fuel in your car. If you don't have any motivation, you really don't go anywhere. But sometimes all you need is a little inspiration to get motivated. Definition of motivation is the reason or reasons one has for acting or behaving in a particular way. Also, the general desire or willingness of someone to do something. The willingness, the desire to do it. That's that fuel in that tank. Now what makes your desire come out? What inspires you to do what you do? So I stopped because man, that was a long ride and I'm still riding, but I really had to stop, slow down, and uh, let's get some real talking, all right? So last night I posted on my Facebook, what motivates you? And a couple people sent some really cool things and uh, I'm just gonna relay those to you. And uh, this is from Alyssa, building my business as I recently become an entrepreneur. That's awesome. She made a goal, she's motivated to get that goal. She's, she's going for it. Uh, best of luck Alyssa, I hope you do well. Uh, next one is uh, Crystal, feeling joyful every day. Man, when you're motivated, to the point where nothing's gonna get you down, where you're gonna do good. You just get that great feeling inside. You can't wait to wake up. You can't wait to go do things, get things accomplished. That's an amazing deal right there. Oh, let's see, we got Becca, Becca. I really enjoy going to the gym every night. Quality time with the husband, pushing each other to be better in all aspects of life. How is that not awesome? I mean, seriously, they're inspiring each other. That's giving them motivation to do better and to kick butt at life. How cool is that? Last night, I also asked Spartans uh, to post pictures of themselves, a picture that motivates them. So what we're gonna do is, well, we're gonna start off, I'm gonna do one of these. It's gonna be fun, I'm just gonna add it in later. <laughs> we got Becca Terry over here. <laughs> she's a badass, uh, she's a Spartan. Uh, she's gone to uh, OCR Worlds, I believe. She's super positive, always doing well. She's also the person who, uh, Takes her husband, you know, her and her husband go to the gym and they inspire each other and motivate each other. Really super cool. Now we have uh, Charlene Howe right here. Super motivational. She's always kicking butt. She's super volunteer for Spartan. I mean, she's always usually there working her butt off and then goes around and, and then right after, you know, goes to straight into racing. Uh, it takes a lot of energy and it takes a lot of uh, endurance to do something like that. And she just has the motivation to push through and uh, kick butt. 
And uh, last but not least, we have Kim Overbeck right over here on this side again. And also another badass Spartan. You, you always see her kicking butt. I hope to be able to see some of these people at Tuxedo uh, this coming weekend. That would be great. And I always love meeting new, new people. I always love running into old friends. It's a great thing. It's a great community. And some of these people are very motivational, very inspirational. And they'll just get, they get you fired up, you know? They get you fired up, and I love it. I know Mondays are really hard to get motivated. That's understandable. It's Monday. It's the beginning of the work week. We all have been there. <laughs> you got work starting out. You got to restart the whole cycle. Waiting for the weekend it takes forever to get to. But you know, it's okay. It's okay. You stay positive. You stay motivated. You keep hitting those goals, you know? You keep just going at it. That's a good part of life, you know? You have your friends, you have family, you have co-workers, you have everybody to inspire you, to help you. It's a pretty awesome life. <laughs> so stay inspired. Okay, now that's all I got for motivation today, for Motivational Monday. Uh, so the rest of the day, I have a whole bunch of stuff to do. I have to edit this, and I'm hoping to get this out on time. There's a storm coming, and I'm gonna try to get home before the storm, so hopefully I don't ruin this camera. But editing's gonna take a long time tonight. <laughs> And I also have a couple other things I need to do, but uh, whew, it has been a nice day. Now see, that was really cool. Like, uh, I'm in the park and there was a little German Shepherd puppy out playing and he come over to me and I just had a good time and I talked to its owner and just, you know, just one of those things that really make you smile. You get to play with a puppy. <laughs> it was the cutest thing. It's only maybe like, maybe five months old and still growing into his paws, was so super energetic, that was amazing. Oh, so happy now. neighbor downstairs he's new who uh, has a drum set not a big deal if he can play drums <laughs> yeah we're, however he doesn't exactly have any rhythm so it's really annoying it's kind of like when you have a like a kid play like uh, the violin or something for the first time but like the first three four months it's just nothing but like gibberish and it really just kills your ears you know and finally one day they just get it right I'm hoping one day he just gets it. Cause it's like all over the freaking place. It's like you can only hold a beat, play three hits, and then it's over. Sweet. My shirt came. <laughs> all right, let's see what I got. Got RWB stuff. Sweet shirt. Oh, I need to open this. I need to figure this out. Oh, it's nice. Great material. Nice. That's nice, right? Yeah. Enriching veterans live. That's awesome. Not the shirt I thought I was getting today, but that is totally a bonus, and I'm super happy to have it. Because now I have it before uh, before the tuxedo race, and I totally can wear it for tuxedo. So the whole goal of Motivational Monday was, well is, to inspire people to uh, basically get off the couch, live a better life, and I hope it didn't come off too preachy. Uh, I just really wanted to inspire people. That's that's the whole goal, is to motivate and inspire people for them to, you know, live a better life, and that's pretty much about it on that. Now we're back to the vlog. <laughs> the vlog shall continue. Uh, so what I'm doing now is I'm going down to uh, the storage uh, facility and paying my bill and talking to the nice storage ladies because they're always a pleasure to see and always really nice and I have no complaints they're they're pretty decent people and it's a pretty decent storage facility and after that I'm gonna go over to the pet place and I'm gonna exchange the food that the cat didn't like for food that the cat did like so I'm almost out of the stuff it did like but we really spoil the heck out of our pets do we not I mean wow <laughs> I think it's the only time where you can get adult males, females, or whatnot. Uh, if you ever notice, as soon as you 
I don't know, interact with a pet of some sort, a cat or your dog or something like that, you start to go in like baby talk. It's almost like you just like minus <laughs> uh, IQ points automatically. And you're just like, oh, look at my little woo boo doo. <laughs> it's always funny. You could get like the biggest, like 350 pound, six foot, you know, seven dude. And, uh, you know, put him around like a dog or a cat or something like that. They just turned to jello. It's the greatest. Okay, so storage is a check. Got that done. Off to uh, the pet supply place or the pet store, whatever you want to call it, uh, to basically deal with the food issue. So that should be fun. I'm just hoping that there's like pets there, like cats and dogs and whatnot I can play with because that would be even more of a bonus. But a lot of these stores don't have them. But it puts a smile on your face when they do. Okay, so done with that, so check. And uh, they did have kitties there, they didn't have any puppies, so I got uh, to go into the room and play with the kitty cats for a little while, so that was a bonus. So, okay, so it's time to edit this stuff. If I don't do it now, I'll never get it out tonight. So uh, I've got a cat clawing my shoe right now because anytime I leave or put my shoes on, he goes in a temper tantrum and decides to claw my feet. I'm talking about you. He's always so excited when I take my shoes off. But anyhow, uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys on Wednesday.